Getting your first $100,000 invested is one of the biggest challenges in your investing journey. In all reality, it is actually harder to get that first $100,000 invested than having a million dollars invested. Bold claim, I know, I know, but I'm gonna prove it to you in this video. If it seems like the first $100,000 keeps creeping away that first six figures, I understand completely. But that is the fun of the first $100,000 because after that, it keeps getting quicker and quicker and quicker. But remember, now this is financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Knowledge. So why is the first $100,000 so hard? Let me give you a simple answer. Because you're broke. You have nothing working for you. You probably just started learning how to invest. Compound interest hasn't really taken effect yet. You're probably young and making crap money. So you are stuck slowly saving money till you reach that milestone of six figures. Most of the first $100,000 is coming from your pocket. So that is a lot of money to get strictly from saving and making money and penny pinching. If you're able to save $10,000 per year, which would be truly incredible, honestly, if you could do that, especially if you're just starting out your career, it would still take you 10 years to save $100,000. 100,000 divided by 10,000 is 10 years. Hopefully we all could do simple math together. But what if instead of just keeping this money in cash so our good buddy Jerome Powell can just inflate the dollar away, we invest it in the stock market and make 10% per year on average. This is not inflation adjusted. But if we did this, how long would it take us? So I pulled up a calculator on my screen to make this really simple. If we have $0, we got nothing right now, and we want $100,000, one, two, three. And we're going to save $10,000 per year, so that'd be $833 per month. 10,000 divided by 12 is this. If we got a 10% annual interest rate, let's see how long it'd be for $100,000. It would take us seven years and we'd have over $101,000 after seven years. And this is seven years if we diligently put away $833 away per month in the stock market, which is $10,000 per year. So even with aggressive savings and aggressive investments, it still take you seven years in this scenario to reach $100,000. But we can see towards the end of it, compound interest is really starting to take effect by the end of our seven year. As almost 32K came from total interest and we've only made about $70,000 in deposits, just a little less. And then you can see the growth really start to perform as you got later in on your compound interest journey. I'm gonna put this calculator in the description if you wanna try it for yourself. So we have our first 100,000, but how long does it take us to double that to get to 200K? Let's find out. Let's not change anything. We're going to still put 833 per month. We just want $200,000. And we're going to keep 10% the same. It's going to take us 11 years to reach $200,000. So that's a dramatic increase in speed. Remember, it took us 7 for 100K, and now it's only 4 years to add another 100K. And you can see compound interest is really increasing. And this is where it gets really exciting. As compound interest takes effect, the portfolio keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger without us changing our contributions much. We're still donating only $833 per month to the stock market. And by the time we reach a million dollars, we didn't actually have to contribute that much. And I'll show it to you right now. If we use the same calculations, $833 per month, 10% annual interest rate, and we want a million, one, two, three, it's gonna take us just a little over 24 years to get a million dollars if we can put $833 away per month. And guess what? Most of this is from interest. Over three quarters of it is from total interest and our deposits are at $240,000, not even $250,000 over this 24 year period. This right here is the power of compound interest with enough diligence and given enough time. And this makes total sense when we actually think about it. What's 10% of $1,000? I'll give you a minute. $100. Woohoo, 100 bucks on the year. Very exciting. But what's 10% of $100,000? 10K. Now we're talking. What's 10% of 500K? $50,000. So you can see how it starts to stack up as time moves on. But the biggest factor is <laughs> waiting for the portfolio to grow. Just sitting there, working, adding money every month to your investment portfolio. And then compound interest really takes effect. So even after seeing all this, you may be unconvinced of my bold claim that the first $100,000 is harder than making a million. But let me show you this right now. If you had $100,000 invested right now, and we wanted a million dollars, and we're not gonna contribute anything. We're not contributing anything anymore, and we still get a 10% interest rate. How long will it take us to get a million? It's gonna take us 23 years to get a million bucks with $100,000 invested. So this is your money, we're not adding anything else, and you can still have a million bucks in 24 years if you just wait and let your money sit. 
You can get there just with your initial capital, invest it simply, and then let compound interest do its thing. Now, don't come me at the comments. I know I didn't account for inflation during this video. That'd be a typical 7% return, but this is just an example on the computer so you can really see over a long period of time how you spend your money makes the difference. How you invest. Am I putting money to allow compound interest to take effect or am I spending it on stupid things? And your time horizons when investing really make the difference. So what can we take away from this? Focus on making more money. Advance your career. Work on a business. And don't overcomplicate your investing. Getting to $100,000 is the hard part. And after that, you can literally sit for 24 years and then you have a million bucks. You can just put it in an S&P 500 fund and then you should get the 10% return. And you don't need any real knowledge to do that. And I back this up in my retirement account because I exclusively just hold SPY so I can get market gains and I like to sell covered calls on it at the same time when I have 100 shares. But if you didn't want to wait that long, you probably should have like been stacking Bitcoin as it would have doubled your money this year alone. I mean, look at that. That hurts. 16 to 36 right now. Live in, you learn. Hopefully you bought a little. Either way, if you need a solid retirement portfolio, check out my super simple portfolio right here that can easily make you a millionaire. Peace.